Hello and welcome to another video. Today I was receiving a couple of um, requests all about the same topic, monitoring of gateways on TDI or TDN directly on Data Cake. Um, TDN does make this very easy, it's an easy task. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use our managed um, node red service Cake Red, which I've got here in this tab here and um, a um, TTN gateway, which I have here in my hometown, placed in my hometown at the industrial zone. And I'm going to show you how you can monitor the last seen um, variable for that gateway so that you have a notification if your gateway goes offline and you can see um, what your gateway is doing actually without the need of going into um, the TTN console. At all. So first of all, what we need is the gateway UI and data um, TDI has um, made all the gateway informations public. So basically they provide a link through their API and when you open up that link, you get all the specifications for that gateway, including latitude, longitude, the country code, the attributes like antenna, which you set on the um, TDN console, the placement, and last but not least, but most important here is the last scene. So um, you could also just to show you remove um, the last two parts here and fetch all the gateway data of all the available um, TTN gateways. This is a huge amount of data. It's six megabytes pure JSON and yeah, but let's get back to my gateway here. So the task is monitors the last scene. And we've got something here on Node-RED, um, the documentation, and this is Cake-RED, and which is the cloud hosted and uh, managed Node-RED. And I've created a small um, flow here, and I'm pulling the um, URL just like simply, um, I've put them here into the browser. And then I'm going to use this function node here to extract all the informations that are um, important for me, like the gateway name and the location um, and the last scene in minutes. I'm going to calculate time-based delta here on it and put it into minutes. And then I'm going to forward everything here into um, a device on data. Cake. So I've already created that device. Um, first of all, we need to create a new API token. So this is the gateway token. And we simply need this uh, permission here so that it can add and remove and also record measurements, save this token. This creates a new API token. Um, we are going to copy this here right now, and then we're going back to Node-RED and paste this token here. And we also need to create a new device. Uh, let's go into devices. Um, I've created this here already. This is the um, TTIG gateway, um, which is placed here nearby and in the configuration. I'm now going to create the variables that we need to um, have in order to monitor everything. So let's make one field for the um, location of the gateway, also for the altitude. Um, this could be an integer. And also a field for the last seen minutes. And this is also an integer. And the unit is minutes ago. We saved that. We get now um, all the fields that we need to store the data from the um, gateways in it. And last but not least, we are going to copy the serial number, go back to node red into the function node here and simply replace the device ID. Oh, I already did that. Um, press, we don't need to deploy because there was no changes. And we now pull the data. Ah, okay, it's not get. I think it's in this case, post. And yeah, recorded three data points. Let's go back to data cake into the configuration. And here we've got now the last scene is one minute ago. Um, the location, which is the location here for my gateway. 
and we can now create a dashboard, a very quick one for this. Now my mouse is gone. I need to recharge the batteries. So there it is once more. And we add now a widget for, first of all, the location. Um, we don't want historical data because normally the gateways don't move and this is not automatically um, updated. So we leave it like that. We call that gateway location and make it a little bit larger, something like that. We can also um, add the value for the last scene minutes ago. Um, we can also maybe set a gauge here. So if this is 20 minutes ago, this is really, really going to be a problem. Um, yeah, put that here on this side. And if we go into Node Red once more and pull the API, record three data points um, a few seconds ago. So it's one minute ago. And here is the location. And my mouse is gone once more and now fully powered on. Okay, so as you can see, this is um, a few seconds ago was updated a few seconds ago and we now could create something like an interval please pull the data every one minute for instance we could keep it lower like every five minutes or so because then it's going to be critical and to not um, put too much um, pressure on the ttn api but let's pull that once more and now this is going to happen automatically and if we are going back into the um, configuration here onto the dashboard we can see okay it was one minute ago we could also um, have a chart widget here so go into devices select the last scene minutes and um, we could yeah no, leave it like that the time frame is this year resolution no not is this year this hour or to another and the resolution on one minute uh, one day ago until now so we could see the historical change of the um, last scene value as well and there's there was also the request that we could have different stages but first of all let's set up a notification for this so let's go into the rules section and we simply add a rule and select the um, last scene warning so we select the gateway here the last scene in minutes and if it is larger than five minutes ago we take these actions send an email to simon and the text is your gateway um, let's copy the idea from here hasn't been sending data for five minutes and we now have created the rule um, let's go to the overview of the rules then we see this here and in the dashboard of course we also should see that it's automatically now being updated because node red does the um polling of the API automatically based in every minute. Um, there was also the request that we could have different levels of warnings. So we go into the configuration once more. And what we can do here is to the last scene fields, add a mapping field. And um, this one would be time, let's call this timeout status. And we map the integer now to um, a string. And we could have different um, ways. So, like um, five minutes, ten minutes, twenty minutes, no, twenty minutes, and thirty minutes. So five minutes, it's okay. This one is warning. This one is um, uh, uh, I don't know. This one is um, critical, and this one is warning. It's more of a warning, something like that. We save that and um, we now have the timeout status here. So on the dashboard, we go into um, the editor and have 
um, wait a widget here once more and select the timeout status. In this case, it takes um, until um, the data has been, um, until there is new data available. But also what would be also possible is that for the mapping field, we could create a Boolean field and have two different inputs. So if it's below 10, this is, um, this is, no, this is on and this is off. So that means that 11 minutes, it's true. We save that, uh, yeah, um, gateway online, gateway online. We save this. And then we've got the online and offline status. And for instance, let's send new data and gateway online. Uh, by the way, um, this should be the other way around. It's, no, wait. This should be, it's online and there it is offline, right? So send data once more. Okay, the gateway is online. Yes, it's online. So let's go to the dashboard. And okay, we're going to remove this because we simply want to have a Boolean here and we select the gateway online and under basic we said yes, no appearance, it's all good and place that somewhere here. Um, so in this example, um, I was showing you how to use our Cake Red, the um, cloud man uh, the managed cloud hosted Node Red that we offer as a service through our um, billing section. Here you can activate Cake Red. Yeah, there is a trail uh, phase of um, 10 days, 14 days, sorry. And in that device here um, on the device list, I created a device, an API device on Data Cake for um, the gateway. And I am using the open um, API that you get you, from TTN when you have your gateways on TTN that gives you all the information that you need. And then I'm going to use um, Cake Red and a custom script here, which I am going to place on a documentation um, to simply get the data. So and what would be also possible is then simply um, I could duplicate this one here and change this to a different um, gateway and would need to change this one here to a different gateway and set, of course, the, um, the token is all good, but set the device ID onto this one here. And then this will be automatically forwarded for each of your gateways, um, which you set here in this, of course. Um, let's remove this because we don't want to have this um, doubled. I don't need to deploy because there was no change in here. And here you can see it was two minutes ago the last time um, data was being received. Now it's one minute ago. And you can see the trend here and there's a gateway online notification. And we also set up a rule and we could now, um, yeah, have a last scene critical warning. Uh, let's do this once more, last scene critical. Um, if the last scene minutes is greater, larger than 30 minutes ago, um, send them SMS because it's critical and we could say the is down. Um, save this and if there's now 30 minutes, no message from that gateway, it sends you an SMS and says that your gateway is down and that you need to care about your gateway. All right, so, Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions to this, please um, feel free, contact us, write us an email, or simply go on our website and you'll find here this chat um, thing below, which you can use to directly contact um, me or Lucas, and then we're going to get, Lucas or me in that case, and then we're going to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.